ever wondered how much you really know about breast cancer risk factors? This is a question we all should ask ourselves, considering the prevalence of this complex disease. Breast cancer is influenced by a myriad of factors, both genetic and environmental. Understanding these factors is not only crucial for those directly affected, but also for everyone else. It empowers us to take proactive steps towards prevention and early detection. So let's delve into some of these key risk factors. Firstly, gender plays a substantial role. Being a woman is the primary risk factor for breast cancer. While men can also develop this disease, it's much more common in women. So ladies, it's especially important for us to stay informed. Next, age is another significant factor. The risk of breast cancer increases with age. Most cases occur in women over 50, but younger women are not exempt. This is why it's never too early to start being mindful about our health. Now let's talk about family history and genetics. If your family has a history of breast cancer, especially among first degree relatives like your mother, sister or daughter, your risk is higher. Inherited mutations in certain genes, notably BRCA1 and BRCA2, can significantly raise your risk of breast cancer. It's like an unwanted family heirloom. But don't fret, genetic testing can help identify these mutations early on. Lastly, personal history is crucial. Women who have had breast cancer in one breast are at a higher risk of developing it in the other or experiencing a recurrence. Certain benign or non-cancerous breast conditions like atypical hyperplasia can also increase your breast cancer risk. It's a bit like having a history of minor traffic violations that makes you more prone to a major accident. Knowledge of these risk factors is the first step towards prevention. Remember, being aware doesn't mean living in fear. It means living in power, the power to take control of our health and make informed decisions. So let's continue this journey of understanding and empowerment together. Continuing with our list of risk factors for breast cancer, let's delve deeper. Your personal history plays a significant role. Women who have battled breast cancer in one breast are at an elevated risk of developing it in the other or facing a recurrence. Non-cancerous breast diseases like atypical hyperplasia can also hike up your risk. Now let's talk about your reproductive history. Early menstruation, meaning before the age of 12 or late menopause after the age of 55 can increase your risk. Delaying childbirth until after 30 or not having children at all can also slightly tip the scales. Hormone replacement therapy, HRT, and oral contraceptives can be a double-edged sword. Long-term use of HRT after menopause, especially the combined estrogen and progesterone type, may escalate your risk. Some studies hint that certain types of oral contraceptives may also slightly increase risk, particularly with long-term use. Exposure to estrogen is another key player. Prolonged exposure to this hormone can up your risk. Factors like early menstruation, late menopause, not having children, or having your first child after 30 can lead to a longer exposure to estrogen over your lifetime. Lastly, don't underestimate the impact of your lifestyle choices. Excessive alcohol consumption, obesity or being overweight, particularly after menopause, a sedentary lifestyle and a diet high in saturated fats can all influence your risk of breast cancer. Each of these risk factors plays a role in the likelihood of developing breast cancer. They intertwine and interact in ways that are unique to each individual. Some of these factors are within your control, while others aren't. But don't be disheartened. Understanding these risk factors allows you to have open conversations with your healthcare provider and make informed decisions about your health. Remember, knowledge is power. Knowing these risk factors empowers you to make informed decisions about your health. Now that we understand the risk factors, let's move on to prevention. The first line of defense in the fight against breast cancer is regular screening. Early detection through mammograms, clinical breast exams, and breast self-exams can help catch the disease at an early, more treatable stage. Next up, maintaining a healthy weight is crucial. A balanced diet and regular exercise not only keep you fit and energized, but also reduce the risk of breast cancer, especially after menopause when obesity becomes a significant risk factor. Here's something you might not expect limiting alcohol intake. Though a glass of wine at the end of the day can feel like a well-deserved treat, excessive alcohol consumption is linked to an increased risk of breast cancer. So aim to limit your intake to no more than one drink per day. For those who are able, breastfeeding is another preventive measure. 
It's not only beneficial for your little one, but may also lower your risk of breast cancer. Hormone replacement therapy, often used for menopausal symptoms, can be a double-edged sword. While it can alleviate discomfort, long-term use may increase breast cancer risk. If you're considering hormone therapy, discuss the risks and benefits with your healthcare provider and opt for the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration possible. Knowing your family history is more than just a trip down memory lane. Understanding your family's history of breast cancer and other cancers can help your healthcare provider assess your personal risk, so don't keep it a family secret, share it with your doctor. Finally, adopting a healthy lifestyle is not just about diet and exercise, it's about making choices that benefit your overall health, such as eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains, getting regular physical activity and maintaining a healthy weight. Taking these preventive steps can significantly reduce your risk of developing breast cancer. By being aware of these risk factors and making proactive decisions, we can not just manage but significantly reduce our risk. It's important to remember that our health is not just about fate or luck, it's largely in our hands. Stay informed, stay proactive, and remember your health is in your hands.